3.2, let's take a look at trimmed means. Now, a trimmed mean is a, a mean that's calculated, uh, but what you end up doing is if you're getting outliers, that's numbers that are either way above or way below the rest of the data, you trim the same number of uh, items off the top as off the bottom. And the whole goal is try to reduce the amount that those really big or really small numbers throw off the mean. But let's do an example so I can show you what I mean. Here we've got a data set. Uh, there's a whole bunch of numbers in there. There's a couple in there that are really quite large. So the first step is to calculate the arithmetic mean. That's just your regular mean, your average. So the formula is, the formula is x bar equals the sum of all the numbers divided by the number of that you have. So if I add all these numbers together, if I add all of those pieces right there, I end up with a sum of 2,186, and I've got a total of 10 numbers. My arithmetic mean is 218.6. Now if I look at those numbers, I only see two numbers that are bigger than 218.6. To me, that doesn't feel like it's someplace in the middle. These two really big numbers right there seem to be throwing things off. So let's calculate a trimmed mean and see how uh, it looks different. Now, the first thing you need to do to calculate a trimmed mean is you have to rewrite your numbers in order. Okay, so now I've got my set of numbers rewritten in order. When I look at them, I'm looking, I'm going to use my judgment on which ones seem to be outliers, which ones seem to be way out above and beyond where we should be looking. And these two numbers right here, to me, seem to be outliers. There are some mathematical formulas for figuring out outliers, but we're not using them here. They're a little tedious to calculate. But those two numbers, they're way too big compared to everything else. Now, because I'm going to trim two off the top, I have to do trim two off the bottom as well. So I'm going to trim these bottom two off. I don't have an issue with 125 or 129. They seem in line with the rest of the data. But this is the method to do a trimmed mean correctly. That way, it still keeps your median the same. All right, let's calculate that trimmed mean now. Formula is... Your trim mean equals the same thing, sum divided by the number of items we're doing, we were using. So our sum now is 931. I did not use the two top numbers and the two bottom numbers because those are the ones I felt were I should trim off. I now only have six items. I don't have 10 anymore. I'm only counting the ones that are in my mean. So now my trimmed mean uh, 931 divided by 6 gives me a mean of 155.16. If I look at that, that seems to be a whole lot more in line with the numbers I've got. In fact, 155.16 kind of sits right there, which is in my books, right in the middle of the data. That's a trimmed mean in a nutshell. Now keep in mind, when you're trimming, use your judgment. What is considered an outlier, what is not? And count the same number off the top and the bottom. Outliers can happen on the bottom, outliers can happen on the top. Either way, just know how to recognize them.